Shaping India's Fintech Future Powered by Mastercard Partnered by Money Control Nivasan, I am here at the Global Fintech Fest 2024. As you can see, there's a hive of activity happening here. The theme for this year's event is Blueprint for the Next Decade of Finance. There's a lot of conversation, a lot of chatter, but what I'm most excited about is the host of cutting edge fintech innovations being showcased this year. I'm especially looking forward to what MasterCard has brought to the table in terms of innovations to enable India's e-commerce and payments journey to go even further. We have a special guest with us to take us through all the contours of the innovations coming out of the MasterCard table. The one and only Yon Lambert, Chief Product Officer at MasterCard. Yon, great to have you with us at the Global FinTech Fest 2024. De delighted that you come to visit our booth here. Delighted to be here uh, in India at such a uh, great time for payments in the world. So. Absolutely. And we have lots to talk about, especially in the context of making commerce safer and taking the India story forward. So how about we take a short Thank walk you. upstairs? John, congratulations. Uh, lots of exciting announcements coming out of the MasterCard booth, the launch of Passkeys. Take us through the details and also the key drivers behind the launch of this initiative. Yeah, well, look, um, delighted to be here, to be here in Mumbai for this forum. And one of the reasons I'm here, one of the reasons that we're launching Passkeys in India, because India truly is the innovation hub for payments in the world. It's also where we have invested in a big office with over 6,000 people, both in Pune and Vadodara, that look at what's happening here that try to learn how Indians are innovating in payments and then how to help the rest of the world come up to speed with that. And Passkey, a payment Passkey, is a great example on how homegrown innovation makes it to, I think, uh, a, a very significant launch here and then uh, from here to the rest of the world. Well, it's great to hear from a leader that India is becoming the innovation hub for the world. So what payment Passkeys really is, is to actually bring uh, security and safety to payments by eliminating passwords and instead using the biometric data of a consumer in order to secure their payments. And doing that in a tokenized form so that their data does not get exposed to third parties. At this day and age where scammers are all over and getting really quite sophisticated, it is very important that we architect this from the ground up in such a way that we're scam proof and that we give consumers the trust that they deserve. Absolutely, and that, that theme is very important because good guys need to win every day, whereas bad guys just need to win once. So you need to make sure that your security is working for every instance, for every transaction. But expanding on the point that you mentioned about tokenization, how do you see tokenization efforts, which are, which are gaining steam, especially in large countries like India, impacting the global financial system, this, this theme of tokenization? What we have done thus far is tokenizing your payment credential the 16 digit number that is on your card, that's just one piece of data. Now we're moving towards, with Passkey's tokenization, your face. You authenticate with your face, but that gets tokenized before it actually travels in the outside world. And ultimately with blockchain, we will tokenize money, we will tokenize assets, we may tokenize stocks and bonds, and all that makes that the consumer can rest assured that it's private data remains with them, that they decide who is it shared with, and that everything is verified before it goes out. Absolutely. And do you see that as being a key reason for the scale up of commerce to be successful? Because as global commerce scales up, whether it's the G7 economies or the global south, the role that securing transactions is going to play, especially as this scale up happens, it's going to be paramount in your opinion? Payments is all about trust. And if it's not like sharing pictures of your cat, right? it's about your livelihoods. And so as a, a network, we have a responsibility to keep that trust and to make sure consumers are comfortable with 
our tools for their livelihoods. And so I, I, I believe that, um, whereas with tokenization, we've secured a lot of the credentials. With OTP, for example, one-time passports in India, authentication happens, but now scammers are coming in and they're convincing people to share their OTP inadvertently. Uh, and so we need to change this as well. Again, your face you cannot share. And so what we're needing to do is to make sure that consumers who frankly don't exactly know how scammers operate can't inadvertently be trapped. And so, so that's kind of where we maintain trust in the system by always staying one step ahead of the, the bad guys. Absolutely. And as you maintain trust, the scale of commerce also booms, right? Because that's right. That's right. it's easier, it's trustworthy, I'm going to spend more. And look, today we have uh, 120 million uh, acceptance devices in the world. That's increasing. And so whereas we solve pass keys in India today, tomorrow you may go to Singapore or to Argentina or to Malawi. We want to make sure that the very same practices that you hear, the very high standards that you hear, is transferred globally. And that will make commerce thrive, that will make economies thrive, that will make social progress thrive. All right. Now, as we see in the event, there's also a lot of chatter happening around AI. So what's your view on harnessing the potential of AI around decisioning capabilities, especially to, to combat fraud and improve fraud detection? Exciting evolution. It's one of the big waves of technology evolution, like we've had the PC, then mobile, cloud. I think AI is one of the big, big innovation waves right now. Where, where we see the biggest opportunity besides productivity improvement and kind of code generation and all that, it's exactly, as you say, in, in the space of machine learning to see fraud patterns and then AI to kind of get ahead of that. We already have a set of solutions we call Eye in the Sky, uh, an AI system that really looks across the entire network payments to detect pattern that is not quite right. And if a fraud happened to actually track where that money goes all across the world. And so AI is very powerful for us. And what's amazing is what appeared like science fiction some years ago is a reality right now. And it's also as commerce becomes safer, we are seeing all these innovations, making sure that the wheels keep churning on. On that note, before we let you go, Jan, what are the opportunities that you see emerging as commerce becomes more safer? Considering your vast experience in the system, what would you have to say about this? So firstly, I mean, there is still so much um, to cash to displays, so much uh, data to, uh, to be harnessed. There's such a runway still to go that I'm generally excited by more acceptance, more, more issuance of tokens. But then building upon that, um, I think uh, new commerce use cases. You know, the gig economy didn't exist a couple of years ago. The marketplace economy didn't exist. The um, subscription economy didn't exist. The crypto economy is coming. I really truly believe now that all of these are harnessed by what I call the token economy, because that is what will power these different evolutions in, in how commerce becomes richer, is more complex and more uh, exciting for consumers. Absolutely. And I'm excited to see what this token economy brings to the table for everyone, all of us. But on that note, Jan, thank you for joining us and congratulations on the pilot launch. Lots of exciting things coming out. Thank you so much thank for joining you us for here. And that was Jan Lamber, Chief Product Officer at Mastercard, taking us through the possibilities and potential that comes about when commerce is made safer. Shaping India's fintech future, powered by Mastercard, partnered by Money Control.